Welcome to a diverse heritage of Guyanese cooking and a little twist from around the world. Here is where food and culture is rich and pure, where freshness blooms and happiness overflow. Food brings us together wherever we go. Hi guys, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. Today, I don't know if anybody can guess what this is, but I'm going to be making some chicken curry with some yam. So I don't know how many of you remember this was a great substitute for potatoes and today I'm going to be cooking this in my chicken curry just like back home I remember the flavor and the texture of yam was something that I can't explain but it's very very delicious. So I'm going to peel the yams and these are the white yams. And if you can hear this sound, just like when I, when I remember back home when my mom would peel yams, it will have that crunchy kind of sound, but it really, really flavor up the curry a lot. So I'm going to peel these, slice them up, and I'll show you how I prepare this. So I just washed the yam. And I want to share that yam tends to feel a little bit sticky after you finish peeling it. So if you ever cook yam and you wash them and feel that it's sticky, there's nothing wrong with the yams. That's the, um, the feel of the yam when you finish peeling it. And yam comes in many different varieties, such as the white yam that I'm using today yellow yam, purple yam, and a whole bunch of different kinds. But this is the one I mainly use, the white yam. This is the one that we're used to from Guyana. The Jamaican also have a lovely yellow yam that they put into their soup and it tastes very delicious. To make this chicken curry and yam, I'm gonna blend up some fresh ingredients and I have a good portion of fine thyme, some maruri pepper, the different colors will add rich flavor, some broad leaf or thick leaf thyme, some fresh garlic, some, and some green onions. I'm gonna blend these up and I'm gonna make a green seasoning to add to our chicken curry and yam today. And I also have three small onions that's gonna also go into this dish as well. So I have one whole chicken, about five pounds, washed with lime, and I just seasoned it with some green seasoning and a little bit of salt. In the meantime, I'm gonna prepare my curry paste and we're gonna get down to this yam curry with chicken today. For the dry spices, I have some turmeric powder, some garam masala, some roasted ground jeera or cumin, and some lawless curry powder. I'm gonna leave all the measurement in the description below. So if I miss any measurement, you can always catch it later. So let's add our green seasoning now. And my green seasoning is contained of garlic, green onions, Mariburi pepper for flavor, fine thyme, and broadleaf or thick leaf thyme. Since we're using a whole chicken for this recipe, we're gonna be adding a good amount of green seasoning. I'm gonna mix this to a paste and we will come right back. So in the pot, I have about a tablespoon of coconut oil. I'm gonna add my curry paste. I'm 
and we're gonna mix this and we're gonna leave it to cook for a few minutes until all the spices and all the condiments mix in together and form a beautiful flavor. So my curry paste is cooking up nicely. I'm gonna add some salt at this point. I'm gonna add a little bit more of water because we want the rawness of the spices to really open up and cook in well. And then I'm gonna add my onions at this point. So we're gonna give this about two minutes so some of the water can evaporate. So our curry paste is ready now. We're gonna add the chicken in here. And this is the chicken I had marinating in some green seasoning and a little pinch of salt. I find that way the chicken will have a lot of flavor. Time for us to mix everything in now. And we're gonna leave this to cook until all the natural water is evaporated before we add our yam into the pot. So our chicken is now cooking in its own juice and I'm gonna let it cook until all that natural juice is gone and then we will come back and add our yams. Mm -hmm. So our chicken is ready now. Most of the liquid is gone and it's thickening up. So I'm gonna add my yams in the pot now. We're gonna mix this in and we're gonna leave it to cook some more, I'm gonna add about a cup of water so our yam can boil and get nice and soft. Yam is often been mistaken for sweet potatoes, but they both have different flavors. So I just added about two cups of water. And if you like your curry with a lot of gravy, you can also add some more or if the yam is still not completely cooked when the water is gone, you can add a little bit more. So I'm gonna look at it and see how the yam is cooking. If it's cooking up quickly, then I don't need to add any more. So here is my beautiful yam and chicken curry. I didn't have this in ages, but it looks so beautiful and so delicious. I also wanna share that yam is rich in antioxidant. Yam is also very fibrous and helps with constipation. And believe it or not, yam is very rich in vitamin C, which is good for our immune system. So let me plate up and let you guys know how this beautiful yam with chicken curry tastes today. So here is my beautiful yam and chicken curry. And it looks so good. I wanna show how nice and soft it is. And um, look at that. I'm gonna mix some in with the rice and the gravy. And this was something I used to love when I was younger. So some chicken in here, and then I'll take a nice big mouthful for all my viewers and all my subscribers. But before I do so, I have a birthday shout out to our friend Nadia Mangal, who is celebrating her birthday, February the 22nd. Happy birthday from me and my family and all the YouTube family. Hope you enjoy your birthday and we wish you many, many more to come. So cheers guys.
Mm. Wow. So delicious. And the same flavor from when I was back home. We have a little bit sweetness to the yam. And it have like a grainy kind of texture, which is so good with this curry mixed in the gravy. It's just amazing. So if you remember, yam from back home, let me know when was the last time you have it. If, and if you ever had it in curry version. So I want to say that our collaboration is still going on. I did mine yesterday, which is Monday. We had Caribbean ducks with um, he posted today and we have Ash who's going to be posting tomorrow Vla, um, hook and cook with Vlad who's going to be posting on Thursday Nikki's family on Friday and being Rocky on Saturday so you guys please remember to support support check out those channel and show them some love if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet i hope you'll consider subscribing until then stay blessed stay safe love you guys bye for now